Bonding... <sighs> Hello everyone, today we are talking about the book Bonding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. I love this book, it's about a girl, she has anxiety, so it kind of deals with the mental illness, but this is what I loved about this book, that even though it dealt with the mental illness, I didn't feel like it was as serious as other books dealing with mental illness. Like, I mean, it still took the serious side of it, so it didn't just like fluff it over and make it look not like that big of a deal. But it didn't make it so serious to the point where it was depressing. Let's talk about this book. Finding Audrey, like I said, is my girl with anxiety. And I was able to relate to this, especially having anxiety myself. I was able to relate to this, so I was like, I hear you, girl. I know, I know, I know how it feels. I, I gotcha. But one thing I really liked about it is the writing style. It did not feel like just some narrative where this is what happened to Audrey, this is what happened, this is what did this. It didn't just feel like a narrative. I like the character Audrey was telling you this. Like you'd see like these lines and all of a sudden he'll, she'll insert like her own little thoughts like yeah my mother lives for the Daily Mail. <laughs> just like these funny little things that just made you laugh. Especially I liked how the therapist made her do like this video screen thing to try to get her to make eye contact with people and I liked how certain parts of the books you get like the script of what's going on. I felt like that really added a new characteristic to the book that's something that's new and it's interesting. I, I just liked how this book was and it's really short too which I really love too because I don't know I'm not a big contemporary reader. I Lately, I've actually been in this huge contemporary mood. Like, I just want to read contemporary. So, it's nice though having this be really short because sometimes with contemporary and they're too long, you just can't get bored with it. This, I didn't get bored with it. It was the perfect size. I just loved it. Okay, when I first saw this book, we keep hearing this thing goes that something happened to Audrey, something happened with these girls, that's why she had to leave school. And at first, I thought the author was just building up. Like, I loved how the author just built up. She wasn't just coming out and telling you this is what happened, this is why. But I was kind of disappointed because we never found out exactly why. Like, I mean, we were able to piece together bits and pieces of what happened. Like, I'm guessing she was bullied. But it never came out, like, what the full extent of the event was, which I was really disappointed about because I really wanted to know what really took place. But then again, if this is taken from Audrey's perspective, she might not want to go relive that, so we might just not know it. I feel like she should have at least opened up a little bit more about what this event was about, especially when she was meeting the girl who totally lies and, oh, I want to say sorry because I felt bad about it. No, you just wanted a good conscience. Thank I think you did something when you really didn't. I gave this book a five stars on Goodreads, which is the first in a while. Like, I've been going through this reading slump where, you know, you read stuff, it's just nothing. It's like sticking out as, oh my god, this is great. I gave this book five stars because it was fantastic and I loved it. I love her relationship with Linus, especially when he starts trying to help her and daring her to go do stuff. Like, I felt like this really, her being with Linus was probably one of the best things that could be because Linus helped her. He understood her, so she was able to open up more. And she trusted him too, so she was able to listen to him more, especially the whole ice cream cone scene. Like, that was just adorable. I just love that. I, I found it funny though when they're like, oh, we need to go apologize for Linus. Because when that part where she disappeared, her family blamed Linus for it. So it was funny because Audrey's like, yeah, he um, is immigrating, his parents are. And I'm like, what? We gotta get to the airport, we gotta stop this. And she's like, I'm just kidding you, let's let's go meet up with him. So I just, I, I just really liked this. One thing I really liked about the story too, there's two stories to this. It wasn't just Audrey, a girl who has anxiety and this is how she tries to overcome it. It was also about her brother and his obsessiveness with video games. I just laughed at that part. Especially when the mom threw the computer out the window. Like, that was hilarious, I thought. Well, those are my overall thoughts about the book. I overall enjoyed it. I love how the cover is yellow. Like, let's admire this yellow. I don't have a yellow book, okay? I don't. And one thing I really appreciate is I feel like when I see science fiction, cardboard is always the same color. It's always black. And you look so depressing on my shelves. Like, look at this. It's not pretty colors like this. So I'm kind of glad contemporaries like to be a little bright. Add the color to my shelf. Like, look at this shelf. This is like my contemporary shelf, and it's like really pretty. Then we have this shelf, and like the books are good, but they're not as colorful. So, yeah. So, that was my thoughts about this book. Thank you for watching. Bye!